For a long time now, I've been wanting to build my own adventure map, and now that we have the adventure update coming, and perhaps eventually we might get our adventure mode, I figured it would be a good time to come up with some interesting mechanics to use for such an adventure map. So the idea behind this video is that we want to detect when someone gets to a chest and is ready to open the chest. For example, if you have a trap or whatever set up. And this concept can also be applied to breaking through gravel or sand into an area so that you can detect whenever someone reaches a location aside from using things like pressure pads and other means. And the idea behind this is basically that we can actually power through a block because a problem I have with these sort of implementations is that often it uses something like a torch on the back side of a block or something similar so that you can actually see the internal workings whenever it gets broken through or someone gets a torch etc and I wanted to sort of hide that mechanic from the user or the player that is and in this case what we can see is that if we have some redstone and at least one repeater on one of the sides we can actually power through a block and therefore detect when a block is in between them so if we were to power this we can see that this redstone is powering through this block to this repeater and the other way around is also true we can power this we can see that this redstone repeater is powering through the block to the redstone on the other side however what we cannot do is power using redstone through a block to another bit of redstone and that's really great because it would make a lot of circuits very complicated if we could so up top we've just stacked three bits of gravel on top of our chest here and the third bit of gravel the top bit is being used as a sort of conduit whatever that means for our power source here so our repeater is being powered by an infinite source source such as a torch or a lever and then through that the power is coming around to the side because it doesn't have to be straight and going through this inverter and hitting up this piston so as long as this block is here our piston will be inactive but the moment this block drops down from gravity our piston will activate and prevent any unnecessary further bits of gravel from falling and so we can also take that power and go around and use that elsewhere so that we can actually do something once we've detected aside from just opening a chest now we have some sort of action that we can do and the same thing applies to breaking through a wall you would just stack it up one more you know higher or whatever and then whenever you break through you would you know activate some sort of thing as well and so if we were to break this gravel here we have a note that is now visible because this glass is in the way and because the glass is transparent we can actually activate this chest as long as you have a transparent block in the way you can do that but things like cobblestone and gravel you won't be able to activate the chest through it and then the great thing is we have very uh, large varieties of uses for this for example we have the note thing visible so it makes sure that a player doesn't miss a note if you have that sort of thing but I would prefer to use books or notes if Notch eventually adds that or Jeb and then our sticky piston here is just holding this glass and that was the piston we saw up there and then to reset it and as you can see we have some gravel there if you don't want players to get any gravel you might not want to use this setup but it's mostly for other uses besides this but to reset it we just use a switch that acts as a replacement for the gravel that we just broke and so we would just fill it up and flip the switch back and now it's ready for another round and then down here we have a version that doesn't actually require you to break through and that as I said it was for a lot of other uses besides chest uh, detection but what we have here is more of a levers and switches thing because I know when Notch eventually comes out with an adventure mode we might not be able to break blocks I think we should be able to choose whenever we're making a map what blocks can be broken of course many blocks probably already use all their bits and can't actually store that data themselves so there might be a bit of problem there I'm not really sure but the idea behind this is that when we press this button instead of breaking through that will allow us to access this chest because right now we can't but when we press this button it will activate this piston which is just pushing a line of a bit of cobblestone a piece of glass and then a third bit of cobblestone and then behind that we have another sign just you know because we can so then if we press the button 
we can see our note, pistons, very cryptic, and then access our chest. And then do whatever we want with the power by simply taking it from here. And then it's a lot easier to reset because you can just flip a switch in the back to push a, pis a piston uh, with all the stuff that was pushed previously and it's a lot easier to reset in case you're on SMP so you can have you know a sort of gauntlet that you can have an SMP over and over again with uh, one button that controls all of these sort of mechanics if that's possible with your other mechanics of course and over here we have the simplest version possible which is just a switch that is attached to a sticky piston that is attached to a cobblestone and the result is that we can actually access the chest because this piston head is transparent to some extent and the interesting thing about this is that although we can't see through it quite as easily so we can't do the same things as we can with glass in our notes we can actually jump up into this area even though we shouldn't really have enough room so we're thinner than this two block than this one block wide space so we can actually make secret exits this way that you can hide some bonus chests and whatnot in. And I find that's kind of interesting as well. And so uh, that is pretty much it, but a quick question. I'm thinking about posting more of these adventure idea things. However, some of them might get a bit more, um, I don't know, spoilery for my adventure map that I eventually want to come up with. So. I could make some more videos like this with uh, some of my other mechanics if people don't mind the spoilers, and I will see you next time.